At the airport, you put your carry-on bags and metal objects on a tray and then walk through the metal detector before hopping onto the plane. Walk-through metal detectors are used to stop people from bringing dangerous items onto a plane and or into another country, such as bombs, guns and knives. Walk-through metal detectors use magnetic fields produced by magnets. Magnetic fields are a type of non-contact force. A non-contact force is a force that is not in direct contact with the object or person, but is still impacting it. As this person walks through the metal detector, the lights flash red because of the metal in his keys. Most walk through metal detectors use a system called pulse induction, where inside the metal detector there is a coil of wire. The machine sends electronic pulses along this wire. The pulses create a brief magnetic field. When an object, like this gun, passes through the metal detector, a magnetic field generates around the metal object, slowing down the speed of the pulses. The machine identifies this speed rate change, and on the outside of the metal detector, a red light flashes to notify the security that a metal object has passed through. If no metal objects pass through, the light goes green. A walk-through metal detector typically has a frame to walk through and to hold the wire, a control panel and lights to indicate if there is metal or not. Some have two lights on the top, but a lot of the new models have lights running down each side to indicate the exact location of a metal object. At the airport, they randomly give people a pat-down with a handheld metal detector after they walk through the frame metal detector. This handheld metal detector is also used for finding the exact location of a metal object and it uses similar technology as the walk-through metal detector. While you've been checked for metal objects, your carry-on bags and other items are also being checked for dangerous devices as they go through a screening machine where the operator can see inside your bag. Some airports use this screening technology instead of walk through metal detectors. People say that this is safer because security can see dangerous objects that are not just metal, but there have been a lot of complaints about privacy issues with these machines. Walk through metal detectors are not only found at the airport, though that is the most common place that they are found. These types of metal detectors are also used for military bases and government buildings to stop people from blowing them up and or from assassinations. Walk through metal detectors do work in stopping dangerous metal objects from going onto the plane. Also, the technology and security discourage people from carrying harmful items. There are ways to slip metal objects past the detector like by putting them in cases and wrapping them in cloth. The metal detectors are getting stronger, so these methods may be becoming useless, but there are still dangerous items that are not metal. Like if you sharpen plastic, it can be lethal. The airport is definitely safer with the walk-through metal detector, but it doesn't stop all dangerous items. Walk-through metal detectors help society to be safer, and the technology used for it to function is powerful, but it does have limitations. Overall, it does its purpose pretty well for a machine.